put you guys in back over on how to make your how to make a record party chat on the Xbox One. I redid the video because it looked horrible. So what we're gonna do is that hook up everything. I hooked up the LAN cord, hooked up the USB for the Elgato. We go over here and we can see that the USB is hooked up. You can see the screen running and make sure you have the Elgato software also loaded. So if we go open up this, we have the Elgato software loaded. So after that, we're going to go ahead and switch over to this screen and we're going to make the party chat. So, see you then. Or let me switch over. Okay, so we're continuing the video on how you can be able to create the account in order to record. This account will be used to connect to the Xbox One or connect to the Xbox One party. So I would basically, if you need to make your own account, make it through here and use a Microsoft email because it's easier. So when you make it, you have to copy this email don't even bother emailing me on this email because basically I don't really care and you're not going to be able to get a hold of me with using this because that's not my real email. So basically we're going to add someone else to this PC. We're going to enter in the email and, email and password then we're going to sign in and then you log into your Xbox into the Xbox app. You know what I mean? Click next and so the next time I log in which I can basically get rid of this so I'm not using this once you sign in it will look like this you know you'll have your own desktop and stuff and then you go open up the Xbox app and then you add yourself you add your original gamer tag on um, on the Xbox app and it'll make it'll make you a gamer tag for you to use so what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and find me, which I should be over here. Sure I am right there. And then we're going to go ahead and join the party. I put it as a non-invite, like it's joinable, so I can go ahead and click this button and I should be able to join. The party system to the Xbox app is in beta, so it doesn't exactly work really perfect. So after that, we're going to uh, we have to mute this computer. The reason why is because we're going to use virtual audio cable to capture the audio from the app, send it over to a mic, and then we're going to change the mic up oh, mic to this virtual. So as you can see, I'm connecting and on my screen on my Xbox, I can show you through here is that you should see me there in a second or so see there you go and then what we're gonna do is mute me and then there you go so it's basically ready um, don't mute anybody else and make sure that this button is stayed muted or else you're gonna hear a loop of sounds that will tamper with your settings and make sure you have no app that's gonna make a sound you, your system audio can tamper with the uh, tamper with it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to virt we're gonna get virtual audio cable sadly I don't really know what the don't really know what the actual website is but I do know which one is the legit one this virtual audio cable is the best one to use because of the fact that most of them are basically viruses and are not safe so I'm so basically it should be either that one but your link will be in the description by though so I believe it's this one right here this one is the safest one to use I know it looks it looks more official and stuff but it's safer because of the fact that most of the time they are 
basically bullshit softwares. So you download this right here, and then then you should be good. And then you should see this. So we're going we're gonna go to sound settings. This will make it so that um, you will not be able to hear anything. Um, but I set up mine is that every time when my headset is plugged in, my little this headphones, the uh, it automatically turns into default, so I can use it again. So you need to set your recording recording as cable output and cable input. So basically click OK but make sure it's set default and then change this to cable output so that it will go into the Capture HD so anything I say will be sent over here so if I plug in my mic right now it should it should work. You should see these levels moving that will be my voice. So just let me get my hook up my mic up to the headset And then anybody else who's in that party chat, it will also set it to them too. So what we're going to do is make it an invite only now. You you can't see the other screen yet, but it will update in a second because there's a delay. So I'm talking, 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 Live. You gotta turn on live commentary in order for it to show up. There we go. As you can see, the audio levels are actually changing. Audio levels are actually changing. There's proof, and I if I mute it, there shouldn't be anyone thing going. There you go. That's how you record. That's how I record the Xbox app chat thing. And if you want to stream, this will also work for live streams too. Um, if you want to put it in 1080p, 60 frames per second, I'll quickly go ahead and teach you how to do that real quick. Um, you don't need to mess with this. Don't mess with this. Don't mess with this. And put it to expanded 1080p, allow 60 frames, and then this is the quality settings that you'll be setting for for your video videos. I put it a little lower because I don't have a very fast computer. Um, use the software built in. I would highly recommend you use that. You don't have to set up hotkeys, but if you want to, you can. You can choose the sharing options and the capture um, where you want it to be sent. There's also stream command and um, flashback recording. That will be it for a different video, but and then you click this button right here to start your recording. Anyways, guys, if this video was very helpful, please hit me up a like. And um, if you want proof that this actually works, go to my channel. I actually record my friends all the time. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.